Love Soaps. I'm talking to Harrison White. That's Harrison White, not Harrison Witt. <laughs> so, Harrison, tell us a little bit about the character you're playing. It's Jamie, right? Yes. On Venice. I am playing the character Jamie, who is a bar restaurant owner of this rooftop bar, and it's the hot spot. They always come there. They love their drinks. They love their coffees and the foods there, and it's a fun place. I'm that guy that knows everybody's business and is always hanging around and friends to everybody. He's that guy. I like him. Now, are you more the type that gives advice, or are you the one that causes trouble on the show? We haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> Uh, right now, he's just sort of, we're just sort of getting in the groove and getting to know these people, so we haven't set where he's going with that yet, but he's sort of, I think he knows everybody's business, and he's going to probably be giving advice any time day, any, any time soon. For those of our, our viewers who don't know your background in acting, can you fill us in a little bit about where you're coming from and how you got involved with the show? Sure, sure. I am a Broadway baby. I was on Broadway in Lion King, and my first Broadway show was Serafina, oh. which uh, was a brilliant time for me. And um, But I've also been, was uh, a co-star in the movie I Got the Hookup with Master P, and I was featured in the film Seven with uh, Greg Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Yeah, fun movie. Ooh, dark. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and as far as getting involved with this piece, uh, I am a gay man. And I'm married. <laughs> love my marriage thing. <laughs> Yay, marriage. <laughs> and uh, my husband actually is a hairdresser on Days of Our Life. And he was doing Crystal's hair. And uh, she mentioned about her show. And he said, well, my husband's an actor. And uh, if you're interested, I can give you information of him and so we sent her to my web page uh, my myspace page where she could see reels of me and my work and she hired me that's fantastic yeah and so you know they weren't sure what they're going to do with the role and now they're loving what i'm bringing to the role and i'm honestly having the time of my life crystal is awesome to work with and the, the whole creative staff and kimmy uh, uh therese is just Mm. This I'm really having a ball. I can't believe my life right now. This has been just sheer joy. This is the third internet series I've done in a year and a half, and uh, I'm going to have to say this is the best so far. <laughs> I have to say it. In your experience, what's different between shooting a web series and shooting, let's say, on a TV set or on a film set? I, well, I will say with this team, uh, everything's clean. Uh, we use the time well. Uh, and uh, there's not a lot of uh, worries about, uh, how do you put that? Everything's just clean and sharp. The decisions are made quick and everybody jumps right in. And I, I really like that. I mean, you, and the honesty that comes across from you from each artist has been really great. So you don't have to try to predict anything. You don't need to work so hard at trying to make the thing happen because it's written well enough for you to feel comfortable with where you are. So I kind of like that. You don't have to do any changes. Don't have to shoot so many angles. And just now, are you a soap fan? Have you been a soap fan in the past, generally? Well, I will say in the last 10 years, I haven't been. Uh, I have caught some of Crystal on, on a... Uh, guiding light because all my friends were talking about the love affair that was yeah. going on that they have now spent off onto this show which I think is so smart um, but up until then uh, when I was on Broadway with Serafina uh, that's all I did it was me and soap <laughs> I would wake up in the morning turn on the television and I would stay in bed until it was time for me to get up and start getting ready for my evening performance and that would usually be at the end of uh, of uh, at the time, it was All My Children. Mm -hmm. No, not All My Children. No, no. General Hospital. A general Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> and I would roll up right after that. <laughs> so, it is. So, tell us some stories from the set. How has it been so far? Have you done a scene directed by Crystal yet? No, she hasn't directed any scenes uh, at this point. But um, the work on the set has been, as I said, very clean. So much fun. Everybody's moving at a pace that is very smart. Uh, the choices the artists are making are simple and well, clean. That's what the word I keep coming up with is clean because it's just I like clean acting. I like hitting the scenes, jumping in, getting out, and, and, and trying to be honest to the moment and moving on. And all these kids are at the top of their game. They're just hitting it and moving forward, and it's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Whereas I've had other experiences where you... Uh, let's go back and try this again. Uh, let's, uh, I don't know, something's about, it's, 
this is just awesome. You're just in and out. I love it. Do you think maybe your background in theater um, makes you love this kind of get it right the first time? In theater, there's no second chances. None whatsoever. So I am that guy. Even in the films that I have done, you know, at the, especially like I got the hookup. The thing that same for me was like, oh my God, he's knocked it out in one shot. Okay, let's just shoot a second one just to make sure. But I'm the guy who likes to get in there. Let's try to knock that girl out. Move on because I don't like to spend a lot of time on it. The more I think about it, the more untruthful it gets to be mm -hmm. for me. And I like to be. You know, I don't want you to shoot it a thousand times, you're killing me. You know, let's just hit it. And that's what I love about this. We get in there, we hit it. Everybody's trusting their work. We don't even look at a play-by deck. I, barely ever anybody goes to a play-by deck and try to look at anything. They hit it, it's clean, let's go. I love it. You mentioned that you're a gay man. It looks like the soap has a lot of diversity. Gay men, gay women, but also racial diversity as well. Yes. Do you think that's the future? I hope. Mm -hmm. I really do. I hope. I mean, that's the world that we yeah. live in, so why shouldn't we be showing that? And that's what I love about this show. There's a lot of diversity. There's a lot of uh, switching with the sexes. You know, we got great uh, gay people playing gay people. Fine. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, straight people playing gay people. I mean, you got so much mix, and I, I love it. And I think what they're choosing to do with this piece is very smart and very honest and uh, real and they're not skateboarding around it. They can touch now, you know, kiss and like it. Please, thank you. That's what real life is about and I'm loving that. I, I find it a lot of fun and I think they're going to really, I think people are really going to tune in and are really going to enjoy it, especially get through this first series, which is fabulous, into that next series. Oh, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Now, as the so as a soap fan, do you feel that the future of the broadcast soaps maybe lies in incorporating more of that honesty of the kissing, the touching, the diversity, all different lifestyles, perhaps that's going to keep them alive in the future? I think it would be a smart move. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they'll make that. I mean, when you're dealing with network television, you're dealing with a lot of demands that is sent down from marketers and I mean there's a lot of demands and on the internet you don't have to deal with any of those things. I think if people were to take the time to shed themselves of those things, I think it would help. Because I think that would push the envelope more. People want to see, we're being titillated by so many things now, reality TV, really, honestly. If we went more in that vein, I think it would really actually sell the market better. I do. Now, without getting in trouble, are there any mm, hints or spoilers or, or tidbits you can give us about your ongoing plot lines? Boo, no. <laughs> I had to ask. I say stay tuned. I think you're going to enjoy this first series. I think you're going to have a great time. I think everybody looks great. If you just need beauty to look at, you need to come up with the Venice the series. But on top of that, the storylines are great. The setup for what this show is going to be about for this season is going to be great. It's re and, and, you know, the last episode, you don't want to miss this because the setup, it's fabulous, and it, it, you don't know what, what the turns are going to be. That last episode is going to set you out. You're going to be like, oh, my God, I can't wait till the next season. Okay. So it's the bomb. It's the bomb. Okay, last two questions. I have to ask you, how has it been working with Crystal specifically? Simply, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm in love. I, I've, I get to kiss Crystal. Every time I come onto screen. There are a whole lot of men and women who are jealous of you right now. They should be. <laughs> They really should because she's got the best kissable lips in the world. I'm just saying. And uh, I, she's so sweet and so lovely and so honest and so uh, kind. I've really enjoyed myself. I'm having the ball. I got another day on, and I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. And for those of us who want to find out more about you, you mentioned your MySpace page. Yeah. Where can we find you online? Okay. You can go to myspace.com slash Mr. M.R. Harrison White. And you can also Twitter with me at Mr. Harrison White at, on Twitter. And so uh, those are the places you can find me. Or if you just need to know more about me, Google me. I'm not the scientist, though. There is a <laughs> Harrison C. White. I'm not him. But you can Google me. And um, also, I'm, I'm also on Facebook. Um, I'm getting ready to do a musical uh, in, the, in the end of this month. The end of, no, sorry, beginning of December. I'm looking forward to that. So I'm going to be putting out my information. So if you want to know about me, go to my Facebook or my MySpace page. Can you tell us the name of the musical? Yes, Susical the Musical. And oh. I get to play the cat in the hat. Oh I'm excited. God. 
That's, that's incredibly exciting. <laughs> Thanks so much for talking to us, Harrison. Thank it was a pleasure. You so much.